G'day, I'm Jess Garrett and welcome to Surfing Australia TV, coming to you from beautiful Burley Heads National Park on the Gold Coast. Well, we have a cracking show lined up for you today. Take a look at what's in store. Just smile, never make them see you cry. The Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre is pioneering surf training and sports science research. Now you may not know this, but several PhD scholars work at the HPC, making sure that Australia remains the number one surfing nation. And Lena Lundgren is one of them. Lena, you're a born and bred Swedish girl working at the Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre. How did you get here? What's your story? Yeah, that's a bit of a coincidence actually. I was working uh, in Halmstad, uh, my hometown at the university there, and, and I heard about this opportunity uh, here in Australia, a project between Edith Cowan University in Perth and the HPC at Surfing Australia. So I sent in an application and I got the grant, so that's why I'm here. Lena is our lead biomechanics scholar. She handles all of our uh, analysis related to how the human body moves and in particular she's researching areas of how we can prevent injuries particularly from uh, aerial and progressive maneuvers. Yeah it's, it's a great team I've jumped straight into and it's led by Dr Jeremy Shepherd and, and with his experience working with other sports and then applying his knowledge to surf sport is really interesting. His main focus of course is to develop the best athletes in the world to get the world title home to Australia. Lena does a lot of screening of footage in what we call the organic or context specific environment. So she watches a lot of surfing footage where injuries occur or where failed attempts occur. So when people don't land aerials and when they do land aerials and she looks at the differences between those two. In a day to day training environment though, she helps give information to us as coaches so that we can make better decisions every day. I'm getting detailed biomechanical information on the spot while I'm coaching to make decisions on whether to progress an exercise or whether to regress the exercise. Run us through some of the tests you do. Yeah, so two of my main areas are the testing protocols that we do for, for the high performance athletes and that's partly to assess their strength level, their power capacity, also their ability to land in different ways. With the maneuvers they're doing, they, they need to not just be able to surf well, but they also need to be able to produce and handle resist force. Not like this, yeah, yeah. Yep. land yep. like that and then turn. So then the load yeah, transfers exactly. all through. Yep. So for example, when they land a big floater or an aerial or the compression load when they come down to the bottom is really high and can go up to eight times body weight actually we've measured. The gymnastics aspect is really important for our high performance program because aerial surfing and awareness and just having those athletic qualities are something that we can train fairly safely outside of the water. This will translate to uh, improved performance in the water, but importantly and particularly from Lena's perspective, it'll improve or, and reduce the injury rates. Surfing is such a progressive sport. It must be really exciting to be involved in the sport at a time like this. Yeah, definitely. The development is just like uh, upwards and, and there are so many opportunities right now and, and such a broad field to explore. Sweet. <laughs> if you want more info on the Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre, you know what to do, just jump onto our website.